Cougs back in action uh, this past weekend. A great win against Cal and a uh, uh, great result against uh, number one Stanford 1-1. We look forward to our next opponent here Friday night. I know we talked about it after the, the Stanford match, but uh, what did that mean to the program to, to get that draw against uh, Stanford and, and the win on Thursday, snapping the five-game skid and just getting back on track right as the, the regular season comes to a close and looking forward to the postseason? We always say winning's hard, especially in this conference. And uh, getting that result on, on Thursday was big to get back going. You know, we had a difficult couple of weeks with some unfortunate circumstances. and. Uh, but, you know, this group doesn't quit. And then you, you get a win, you build on that, and you go play number one Stanford. And, you know, we're always expecting to win here, number one or whoever they are. So, uh, yeah, it was a great result. Was I ecstatic? No, because I'd like to win the game. But uh, great momentum, something added to our resume as we continue to build that resume for NCAA tournament play. And uh, we're now on to our, our next opponent here on Friday. Speaking of that, Friday against Washington, regional rival um, in the, the Boeing Apple Cup series. What does it uh, mean to play that that game as your final game, basically every season, and, and knowing a result uh, in that one puts you definitely into the tournament, and then uh, depending on what happens, could could help host. Well, it's a great. Uh, it'll be a great soccer game, like it always is, against two great teams in this great state of Washington. And uh, really, for us, it, it's about moving on, and that's our goal here. So. We're treating this, again, like every game we've done the last couple is a playoff game. And it doesn't matter who this opponent is. It's uh, Friday when those lights go. I mean, we, we mean business. And, and uh, our goal was to move on from here, um, hopefully next week. So uh, just another game for us. That's how we always look at this game. Just another game, just another opponent in our way. Without giving away too much, what type of game are you expecting Friday night with Washington? It'll be a great game. I mean, they'll be they'll be a tough opponent, a tough out as always, and uh, we'll be back and forth. Pac-12 soccer at its best, and every game in the Pac-12 is, is a battle here. Uh, individually, you had some great efforts. Uh, can you talk a little bit about what uh, Morgan brings to the table? Two goals last weekend, two assists. Has, has caught her stride once again. She seems to come up biggest in the biggest games. You know, I get it. I mean, by far one of the best forwards in the Pac-12. I mean, what my, Stanford girls have done has been tremendous too. But you look at Morgan, her body of work, and the key goals she scored in the key matches in this conference and outside. She continues to grow, continues to be a leader. Um, she's not just a uh, uh, an athlete anymore. Morgan is a complete soccer player that is athletically gifted, hard nosed, and can score goals. And uh, she's becoming more and more dangerous as this team gets growing here. Uh, and lastly, your your defense has been banged up lately, but uh, still playing strong. Gave up just the one goal against Stanford and and. Uh, came up big when needed. Uh, what uh, What's your expectations out of that group Friday night, and, and how do they how have they come together with each piece having to be replaced here throughout different games and, and, and different lineups, different formations? How do they how does a team like or a group of defenders like that stick together? And what what's the mindset? Well, it's been fun. It's been challenging. It's the next player up. And, you know, we, we had 30, 29 young ladies on this roster, field players begin the year, or excuse me, 26. So that's why we have a deep bench. And uh, these younger players have just gotten into the game a little earlier than maybe expected, but they're doing their job. Last year, we rolled six freshmen all the way to the round, third round of the NCAA tournament. So just younger freshmen up on a deeper team. Now they're asked to play. And uh, I got no hesitation whatsoever. They've been doing great. And uh, we'll continue to move forward with them. And then Friday night, what do you have to do on the or in the in the stats to, to win that game? What's What's the ideal? Look at that, that, that you know you would come away with a win if the team does. I mean, take control of the game from the start. We, we're playing for a lot more than they are. That's a fact. And uh, so um, put our foot on the gas and go when that whistle blows. And uh, we always get up for games like this, uh, games at home, um, crunch time. The Cougs are about crunch time. We have not faltered, and uh, we're excited about having our opponent over here on Friday.